All right, a few years ago, I had a special birthday, one of those round number kind of birthdays. So I wake up in the morning and I don't get any presents, you know, I'm like, what's going on here? But then, after lunch, I get this mysterious email here, okay, with a link. So, um, I click on the link, I go to this website, and I find, oh, I find the most amazing, amazing surprise ever. Letters from around 100 friends from far, far away, some right here. Uh, Many of them I haven't seen in years, and not just saying, hey, uh, happy birthday, girl. So what has happened, actually, that my husband secretly had contacted all my friends and told them to go to this website and write for me for my birthday. He promised them that all their letters would be private. They would be delivered to me on my birthday, that special birthday, in the form of the book. Like this. This is the actual book. So I think they were really encouraged by that. and. and and what happened, they wrote these really long, very private personal letters full of personal stories and memories, things that you, you don't put on Facebook, okay? You're like, you don't have to see your as well. I love this idea, so I love this present, so it's the best ever. And the people who wrote letters said that they loved writing. So what we decided to do is create a, a website so other people can create albums for their friends to then write letters for their friends. We call it Homo Verde. And these are actually uh, screenshots from the website and also from the kind of email you would get if you would use the website. So people started using it. We were surprised. People started using it over these last few years. We've had thousands of people go to the website without us doing any promotion. And they were, they've been using it for all kinds of things, for birthdays, for, for retirements, for someone who is sick, for, for soldiers going to war or coming back home and so on. And then I started getting these messages from people saying, saying, thank you so much for giving me an excuse for writing thoughtful letters to my friends. Or thank you for having this present to wake up in the morning and get like 50 amazing letters from my friends. Like, oh, what does that mean, right? So then I realized that we've actually lost something in the process in this, in this pursuit of speed, <laughs> efficiency, right? We, we've, we've kind of lost uh, a way of writing long, slow, meaningful, kind of focused letters. And, um, you know, we all used to sit down and write long letters, and, and, and actually not utilitarian kind, like right here, right? We, you, you find the right words, you take the time, you put in writing something that then goes into a big friendship, you develop intimacy with, with someone you write. So, um, what happened? What happens is that we realize that technology creates a certain bias, creates certain behaviors in us, right? And we oftentimes don't realize that we actually can fight back, right? We can actually make small adjustments to technology that we use every day so it works for us and not we for, for it, right? So, so this is someone I really respect, Christine McEwen. She's a local author. She lives in Northampton. Pick up her book, World Enough in Time, and Creativity in Slow Notes. It's fabulous. So what we decided to do with the birdie, with our website, is to take uh, a step back from the world of Facebook. And uh, this is what the website does. First of all, the letters that you write are absolutely private. No one except the receiver will see them. Then they're, they are collected and, and delivered to the person slowly on the day that, on a special day. Um, and then in the end, we put it together in a book format, so to really commemorate and celebrate that special connection. And it's not as easy to write letters on the bird. It's not like posting something on the wall, right? On, on Facebook, it takes more time. It's, it's much more difficult. <laughs> so, um, and we set out as a goal for the birdie to tweak technology so that it satisfies the desires and needs that our users and we ourselves have, right? It's like in <coughs> with the slow food movement, the principles that you take those and kind of apply the same principles to technology and slow down, take care, make more thoughtful connections, take your time to connect with people. And then one of the latest surprises that the birdie brought to me was that about a month ago, a friend of ours from uh, Obama campaign uh, created an album of letters uh, and invited all his colleagues from the campaign to write for the president. What happened next it just uh, what happened was we received 600 letters, 
written for the president. This was actually in the World War Club that we created, taking all those letters in that we received. And uh, the letters were actually very informal, very direct, personal. There were some very long letters all addressed to the president. We put them all into the format of this handmade book. It weighs 13 pounds. Uh, this is the book before I left my studio for the White House. The letters in there are amazing. People full of gratitude for the kind of life-changing experience they had during this campaign and the contributions that they've made actually making a difference. Some of them even met their spouses during the campaign, so it was amazing. So, so here it is. Um, give it a try and, and um, see how it feels to write slowly again. <laughs> Thank you.